Picture this, November 18, 1929. Deep beneath the Atlantic, about 265 kilometers south of Newfoundland, the Earth suddenly shut an underwater earthquake, measuring a powerful 7.2 on the Richter scale, tears through the Grand Banks. But the shaking isn't the deadliest part. This quake triggers a massive submarine landslide, a colossal collapse of the seafloor that displaces an unimaginable amount of water. And that water has to go somewhere. A tsunami is born. It races silently across the ocean, heading straight for the southern coast of Newfoundland. Two and a half hours after the initial quake, the unsuspecting residents of the Buren Peninsula witness something bizarre. The sea simply vanishes. Harbors drain completely, exposing the ocean floor and leaving boats stranded high and dry in the mud. Curious onlookers and fishermen rush down to the shore, trying to make sense of the spectacle or secure their vessels. They have no idea what's coming next. Minutes later, the ocean returns with a vengeance. Not one, but three enormous waves slam into the coastline. In De Niro, funnel-shaped bays, the water surges upwards, reaching heights of up to 13 meters, that's 40 feet, taller than a three-story building. The force is catastrophic. Entire communities like Porto Brass and Buren are devastated. Homes, fishing stages, wharves, and boats are smashed to pieces or swept away by the torrent. Tragically, 28 people lost their lives that day, many of them caught completely off guard by the returning waves. Hundreds more were left homeless, their livelihoods destroyed in an instant. In 1929, there were no tsunami warning systems. There was no time to prepare, no time to escape. All they had was the terrifying sight of the ocean pulling back, a final deceptive calm before the disaster. The 1929 Grand Banks event remains a chilling reminder of nature's power. Scientists learned an important lesson. The real danger from an underwater earthquake isn't just the shaking. It's the tsunami that can come afterward. That's the part we really need to watch out for. For the people of Newfoundland's south coast, it's a story etched into their history. A day that changed their world forever and a powerful tale of survival against impossible odds. Thanks for watching and if you found this story compelling, please like and subscribe for more incredible true histories.